Welcome to our Sani Pass adventure, one of the deadliest roads in Africa. It was very stressful. Nice pub in Africa. Hey, baby, me. So our plan for today is we're going to go to Sani Pass. Um, there was a lot of rain yesterday. A lot. A lot. Um, there was also talk of there might be some snow around on the high elevations in the southern Drakensberg or Lesotho. So we're going to give Sani Pass a go. We've packed up all our stuff's wet, our mattress is wet. But yeah, we're going to head out and see what happens. Mm. I'm very nervous about the roads being wet because what were they? Dutch people yesterday mm. went up there and apparently it was a bit hairy. But then again, <clears throat> they're not stiff, so everything's going to be great. So we're about 10 k's from the South African border post. We've got to go through there to experience the whole of the Sani Pass. And we're just about to start our climb. Welcome to South African Border Coast. This is where we get our passport stamped, our vehicle checked, and we leave the comfort of the gravel road. Sure, we were amazed. On the way up, we were already thinking, oh, check how much water is in this river. Check it out on the way down. Sure, things change really quick around here. If you like our content, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, hit the notification bell, and don't miss a moment of our crazy life on the road. Yet another river crossing. We've crossed numerous rivers, making our way up Sani Pass. So as you can see, the road is very narrow. There is hardly any room for two vehicles to pass. So having another vehicle come in the opposite direction can be challenging. Oh, here we go. Our first steep switchback. And lo and behold, we don't even make the turn. Right, so just having to reverse here a little bit. The camera doesn't do the steepness justice. And got a Defender 130. She's long and the turning circles like a bus. Bro, you're trying to freak me out even more. You want the baby? No. I'm freaking out. Focus on driving and 
not GoProing. And I gotta focus on breathing. So we're definitely into the steeper parts of Sani Pass. These gradients can reach one in three. For every three meters forward you travel, you're gaining one meter in altitude. Doesn't sound like much, but trust me, it's quite steep. I'm very surprised taxis go up and down here. <laughs> Especially in this weather. I mean, I think when it's drier, obviously they do it every day. But bro, this is slippery. No man, you fine, you're totally cool, you've got your shit together. So on this gnarly steep switchback, I stopped, smashed in the center diff lock, first gear low range, and slowly chugged up the steep little section. You often hear me mention, slow as pro. So there we go, happy days. Switchbacks. Switchbacks. These things. We turn These back on ourselves. Oh yeah. my god, they frighten me. So yeah, they're kind of steep. It's a little bit harder just because we've got a 130. And it's so heavy. Yeah, and we're super heavy. We're running at about 3.7 ton. And we're pulling up Sony Pass. Here we go, here's another one. Oh, it's getting steep up, yeah. Oh, Hey, hey, check at these tires. We run uh, maxi razors, mud terrain. These tires have performed flawlessly. Plenty grip and traction. Loving these. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. No, I actually think fine. it's easier to drive it with the full on mist. The reason <laughs> is because you, you actually can't see. Um, the rain definitely makes it a bit harder, but slow is pro, you know. But yeah. This step is pro.
Yo, oh, we just made that switch back. I will nearly land it in the gutter. The driver is only as good as his co-pilot. As you can see, some care communication and guidance from the co-pilot makes things so much easier and safer for the driver. And we navigated that one by pinpoint accuracy. Quick little fun fact about Saudi Pass. The pass lies between the border controls of two countries, South Africa and Lesotho. The pass length is about nine kilometers long. It felt like 19. We made it. We up, we up, we up. Welcome to Lesotho. So we're on the top. I'm not too sure if this is the highest point in Lesotho or just the highest point on this side. Um, basically, we're at 3,200 meters. Sani Pass sits at 2,873. Um, <laughs> yes, pretty I exciting. Stressful. Yeah, very stressful there for you, babes. It was very stressful. And then you were still GoProing in the middle of it. I'm like, oh my God, I couldn't watch. Thank God there was mist because I think it would have been worse for me. That was hectic. Looks like a old hut that the Basutu people use. What are you doing? There's like these little rodent looking things and there's holes everywhere. One just stuck its head out. I don't know what it is. So basically, we are um, we're just coming down from that one section and I got on the brakes and the steering wheel wobbled like this. Happened twice and then it actually went away. And then just over there I wobbled the wheel and I'm not too sure if there is something or there isn't. But yeah, we've got to be on the side of caution. Because we've um, got to go down. Here. Yeah, we've got to go down and this is a house. You know, it's not like just on holiday so that's let's get into it yay i'm so excited mm -hmm. getting the jack out
Ice pub in Africa. Hey. That's lekker, eh? It's actually super busy. Oh, we're gonna make our way down. Looks like the weather's pulled in. Right, so we're on our way down. The weather's very miserable outside, so... It actually looks worse. Yeah, we're actually quite wet already. And we were disappointed. So, about what? Because the pub was full. Yeah, the pub is super full, so we can't just hang around. It's already one o'clock. We've got quite a ways to go down. It's not that far, but we've got to take mm. it slow. But yeah, so is pro. <laughs> super cool. We made it. We're super stoked. We saw some cool things. Now we're on our way down. That's the way down. The weather's coming. We're about to buzz. We, I mean, I just saw some people and I can't see them anymore. So let's go. Yes, it's actually coming in thicker. The signs disappeared, babe. Let's move. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna share something with you guys. This is what went on in my mind when I saw some of these steep switchbacks and how much rain and water was coming down the pass. I've done a lot of 4 by 4 in my life and I quietly shat myself. This was intense. Going up is always easier than going down. So slow as pro once again. Sorry, guys, it's hard to keep the GoPros and trying to drive. Okay, good one, babes. Good one, back. So this is where you don't want to make a mistake. Selecting the wrong gear or slip of the foot can have catastrophic consequences. That's not uncommon. Definitely 
Ueta. Oh, for sure. Oh my god. Check how wet this is. There's so much water coming off this mountain and running down the pass itself. It's actually insane. This was the river I was talking about on the way up. It was pretty much ankle deep going up. Now look at it. Flowing fast and definitely much deeper. pretty much call this a, a storm coming down eh? Bad weather. But I mean as we speak you can actually see it increasing. We weren't in the water and now our car's in the water. <laughs> Let's go down. Maxi tires. Hey, hey, puppy. These mud terrains are next level. They performed flawlessly. Definitely provided us with plenty grip and traction going up and down the pass and definitely made us feel safer. Hey, we back, baby. And we're like drowned rats. But I had my eyes open the whole time, eh? Coming back. Hello. Oh, kidding me? Thank you. And the car's good. Yeah. Thank you. We made it bad. <laughs> hey? You're me too. I'm almost angry. So that was sunny pass up and down. Call it bad weather. Call it a storm. Call it constant raining. Who knows? Yeah, that was pretty radical. That was like off the charts. Some of those turns were quite insane. 
So, woohoo! Happy days, we're back in SA and now we're going to our camp. No way. Going up to High Moor Nature Reserve. See you up there. 